Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Inward Perfection Version 2.8.1. I'm your host, Call of Fate. It's episode 4. It's the year 2245. This is where we're sitting. The main coon. Isolationists. Fuzzy kitties. We've got marauders on one side. It's not good. <laughs> not not. good. Not good, but we do have some worlds down here that are going to be... And then we have a, a second relic world, which will be really nice, depending on if a giant dragon hatches from it and destroys it or not. <laughs> so, this is where we're at. We're a little over our empire sprawl. We're building an administrative park, raising one of these buildings up, so that should take care of that shortly. We've got a research world here. We got another world here that's building civilian industries. Our home world is still kind of a mishmash as needed. That's why I'd like to get these fourth and fifth worlds grabbed. And Seoul over here would be very tempting to take, especially because Ethier right next to it has two more alloys. So that's kind of the situation. In fact, we only have. Oh, we got the one construction ship. Where's he going? He's going over there to grab those gases because we're about to research those. Aren't we? Yep. Nine months away, we're going to research these gas extraction oils, so we'll be able to start grabbing those. I think when we're done with that, we'll shoot him over here and we'll start trying to expand in that direction. Oh, good lord, what a day. Um, <laughs> back. A little pause for you, but a significant one for me. It's, Construction complete. It's been a day. All oh, right, and there's two more alloys down here. This is going to be fantastic. We really need that. Uh, what I really need... This is a less than ideal setup from a trade perspective um, because these planets are so far away and... and the Devourers of Zurn have audaciously laid came to the Fontrel system. These are the Devourers, yeah, so they're Fontrel, of course. They're, they're going after that. And we want to... They, they... There's a white piece with these guys for how long? Declare war until 2254. We've got nine years, so they can lay claims all they want. We just need to be prepared to to fight them off when they finally do decide to to come after us uh, so this arctic world I think the smart thing for us to do is immediately we have mastered a new technology try and, oh, hold on okay hold on I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that all right we're back um, let me tell you what happened I went to check mods. Somebody on a previous thread in the 2.81 series uh, told me about a mod called No Prime, which will allow you to... It's supposed to be Iron Man compatible, and it's supposed to name the planets after the planets and not add the Prime to it when you colonize it. Um, I installed the mod, and it doesn't work. You can see clearly. It says it doesn't work for trinary or binary star systems, but this is in the trinary or binary star system. It should work. And still, when I go to colonize, it says Rasker Prime. So, um, so I don't know why it doesn't work. And uh, Paradox has seen fit to change the interface for how we handle mods, the launcher, to this game. And so there's no real way to, to even tell if a mod... It, in the old launcher, you had a toggle. So you could say, enable or disable each individual mad mod. Now it's just a list. And I don't, I don't know. Is it enabled or not enabled? Or is it always enabled if it's in that list? I don't, I don't know. So they've, in the, in the immortal words of Joe Vargas, they've done fucked it up again. So, so here we are with a mod that doesn't work. That sounds like it would do exactly what I want it to do. But fuck it, it's not going to do it. So we're screwed as usual. Joy. You know, and the thing is, 
irritatingly so. This is such an easy fucking fix. I mean, come on, Paradox. For Christ's sake, just fix it. You know, how many systems do we have like this one down here where there's multiple planets and we're going to we're gonna colonize these and what are you going to do? You're going to screw up the name every single time. Like, just fix it. Just fix it. How hard is it to fix the code? It's not. You know what? I know it's not that hard. Just fix it. It's like, mm, um, uh, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice. This is what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be my contribution. I, I said I was gonna do it several episodes ago, like episode 18 of the 2.81 series. I said I was gonna make a, a video about all the things that are broken in Stellaris and need to be fixed before we get a new DLC. And I was only half joking, but I'm not joking anymore. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing I did with No Man's Sky, and I'm just gonna make a, a video of all the shit that's broken in the game. And before you give us Nemesis, fix this crap, because I'm tired of it. And you shouldn't be relying on modders. There's no game should ever rely on the modding community to fix their bugs. That's the job of the developers in their QA department. And I know you have a QA department, and I know you have developers. So fix it. <sighs> Living Metal Mega Construction will take forever to research, and we don't actually need that right now. The hangar bay would be nice. We're going to want that. You come over here and grab this gas, because we're desperately going to want that as soon as possible. I'm just... I'm so frustrated. It's so irritating that stuff like this still exists in the game after how long? How long? How, how many years do I have to play this game? How many hours do I have to sink in it before they fix it? Like, if I was on your QA department, I would be down there every morning. Boom. Cup of coffee. And the first thing I would do is get in the producer's ear and say, You've got to move this to the top of the list. This is annoying. Get it fixed. There's no reason not to fix this. There's just no reason for it. Let's see what we got for it. We just picked up another genius. What do we have? We have a genius there, a genius there, a genius. And we have this guy here, and he's got 25%. But if we put a genius there, who we just picked up, busy commanding. Yes, that moves him to 27. It's an extra 2%. It's not much, but it could mean a lot later. So he's over there. Genius, genius, genius. So we'll keep trying to be smart and swap these guys around. Um, he's there. He's got no orders. What do we want to do? The choke point for this is going to be right there. So I suppose we should survey that system. <coughs> and there's a bunch of emerald roamers right there. I would like to get all of this. This would be great. There's a tomb world over here. On, uh, on my other playthrough that I'm doing... Well, well, let's let's look at this. On my other playthrough that I'm doing with this same species, uh, my first real good attempt at a, at a inward perfection with a race that I think actually might work, uh, they ran into a tomb world too, and I and I genetically engineered my species to be to uh, the most you can get is seventy percent habitability on it, and that was before before finally getting the tech to to terraform it. Grinding lattice. I probably should have just waited and terraformed it. But I thought I told you guys. Listen, I'm, I'm giving you instructions. What are you doing? Why are you not doing this? Move, maybe, and then do it? I don't understand. You're over there. Okay, you just got done with that thing. It's like, boom. Boom, chakalaka. Um, hmm. On the home world, then. Where's the home world? Okay. Hold on. You I mean is some research on here so you can go assist with it. It's what the hell? What is going on? Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm having the worst day. What are you doing? Yes, just move over here. What are you doing? Don't don't do that. Don't do that. I want you to just do this. Construction complete. Yeah, okay, good. Jeez. Just, oh. It's like I'm clicking on things and they're not doing what I want to do. Science, yes, science. Come all the way over here and do this. Oh my gosh. I'm just having a bad day and it's translating right into this playthrough. Oh, I was hoping that if I sat down and played a video game 
everything would go better. <laughs> I would really like everything to go better. But, but, I, I'm not, I'm not a believer in anything funky. Like, there's a, a great uh, tweet by Neil deGrasse Tyson a few days ago when, when Mercury went out of retrograde, and he says, now you're going to have to find, when, when bad things happen, you'll have to find some other thing to blame it on it until 100 days from now when Mercury goes into retrograde again. <laughs> I don't believe in any of that stuff. I don't believe in astrology. I don't believe in Mercury and retrograde. I don't believe in a lot of things. But there's some... I've always wanted to track biorhythms. Or at least just track good days and bad days. And see if it shows up like a sine wave on a chart. If it's graphed over time. Because life has this weird way of just... Of just uh, feeling really strange. Like, there just seems to be bad days when you can't do anything. There's nothing you can do to make them better. And like, here I am having a not very good day, and I'm thinking, man, I'm just going to I'm gonna play a video game and make it better. And it's like, nope. The, the universe just cosmically takes a dump on you. It's like, come on. Can I even just have some fun playing a video game? This is great. This has got all kinds of blocker clear stuff, which, um, do we have an edict for that? Yes. Volatile land clearance, clear blocker time and cost. I'm going to turn that on. These are cheap. Ah, uh, this is going to give us max generator districts. I don't care so about max mining districts plus two that this will give you max generator districts. It means it's going to give you one more city district, which is kind of the important thing. Max gas extraction wells. Ooh. And then this will be volatile land clearance. What is this going to do? It's just going to clear it, but it's not going to give us anything. Max districts. Oh, it's just going to give us max districts plus two. Okay. So we'll do that. We'll work on that while well, it's got two jobs it's trying to fill. Um... Because this is the planet that's going to end up size 20. It's going to end up, we'll be able to do all the mining with it and maybe even all the generator districts and still have enough for housing, which would be really cool. <clears throat> Extreme storms. This doesn't have any more room for people to grow, so we have to fix that. We're above our cap, which is good. Um, Construction complete. Okay, so now the question is what do we want to do next? I think we have to go for the relic world. I think that would be the key. You guys here, what do I want to do? I think I just want to join these sh ships together, even though that ends up being this weird destroyer and frigate. Their fleet power is superior, and that's fine. Because we just need to catch up. You guys. Oh, man, i got to wade through... I'm not excited about this, but I'm excited about those alloys right there. <laughs> and I'm excited about all this down here, too. Mining districts. This is a continental world and a tomb world, and you can terraform both of those. So, <clears throat> And our... You're, you have a long way to go. We've got a long way to go in a short time to get there. I think, uh, where is this other shipyard at? There's that one. Oh, yeah, because it's feeding that. So, main coons. Yeah, because we're going to want to upgrade these, aren't we? They're really expensive to upgrade. What I want to do, what I want to do first, shipyards. There's the main shipyard. I want to create a colony ship. and not do it through this planet interface because I want to create it and get it started on the way here. It's going to take a little bit to reach here and I just want to get started. I want to get that going. What's this other world down here? Ocean world and a continental world. Okay, well, look, there's 14 minerals right there. There's some Zro. There's eight minerals down here. This, this is just so research rich over here. And as long as we stay away from the marauders, they won't do anything until we become a certain degree of powerful. And then they'll be like... A new technology. 
Elgate insights I definitely don't care about. Mining subsidies and Corvette hit points I do care about. Okay. So what is this? There's there's nine trade over here, and you're doing what? This. So we need one more trade to grab that from there. Well, we need that. You're going to have to upgrade. Okay, hydroponic farms. Naval capacity, plus 30. That would probably be good. Although, getting everything else first that's cheaper would be better. Let's look at void craft and military theory. I don't have any of those people. Oh, I do have a Voidcraft person. Okay, hold on. Switch you over. Let's. It's 27% now, and if I put the Voidcraft person on it, it becomes 32%. Okay. And you've gone all the way over there, which is great. Uh, boy, I feel like I'm taking a risk here, but actually, do this. Do that. Research those two enemies. Construction complete. What are you going to do? What were you going to do? Oh, there's a... Excavate, there's a site right there. Yes, yeah, so now you're there. Keep inching your way over to site. You have gone over there and done that. Complete. Which is great. So, there's going to be a chance for you to do an archaeological dig site right there. And there's another guy right next to you. Okay, well. I don't want to. I don't even want to survey that system. That's, that's how little I want to get close to those guys. I don't even want to survey that system. So. him over there well let's see let's see everybody move first everybody can move in musical chairs and then we'll see how it works empire capital needs one more person to grow and we can unlock yet another building slot although it's not the most important thing at this moment to get another building down because we're good on bureaucracy the only thing I'd really like to do is keep turning more minerals into alloys we're good on consumer goods for a little while and there's that. So now we can hurdle these guys down here. So just start moving. <clears throat> Don't even waste time. Because he's going to be over in the slot soon. And then we can have him move around and grab these moats. Alright. And this finishes this stuff. War games. Fleet command limit increased by 12 plus 20. Alright. Oh boy. This is fragments of life. This is Tim. Oh, and that showed up somewhere. That's nice. Mastery of nature is nice, but it's very expensive. So it's not worth taking right this second. What what showed up? Oh, right there? Oh my gosh, more alloys. Oh, sweet. Okay. And that's you. Okay, go down here and get soul. Yeah, what I'd really like is a few more alloys. What's going on here? You need to prioritize those guys to make sure that we have, we have mastered a new amenities, and in fact, we're going to build this. Research technologies plus one. Okay, what's going to be the next most costly thing here? Let's grab research from researchers. This is... I have not played a version of this game with a faction that has felt so tense as Inward Perfection does. It just feels, whole thing feels tense. <laughs> you guys can upgrade. I'm not going to do that yet because we don't have the alloys for it. Fleet power superior. One of the things I'm really tempted to do, and I didn't do it with my other version that I was not playing for YouTube, is to take Construction complete. To take nihilistic acquisition unlocks the raiding bombardment stance and go on an ideological war with these guys and get over here and take pops off their planets. The problem is, who are these guys? They're, uh, what kind of planets, what 
kind of ocean preference, which would not mesh well with us. Their, uh, their Arctic Alpine Tundra habitability is 20%. So taking them off and putting them in our worlds would not be a good idea, except for we do have a relic world. We'd, and we're going to have two of them if this one doesn't blow up. So taking them and putting them on our relic worlds would be pretty cool. It would be a great way to get some some extra speed there. It's really tempting to do that. The only other thing that I'd want to do this early is... Uh, Mastery of Nature is great, but it's too expensive right now. We don't have the alloys to really to really make use of it. And and what did I take the first time? Yeah, technological ascendancy. Uh, so there's nothing else that I really... Enigmatic Engineering, no. Interstellar Dominion, no. Grass the Void, no. One Vision, no. So Master of Nature would be nice. I would like that. But taking the rating... Complete. Be kind of gene modification points, that'd be cool. And that unlocks some other tech further down the line. Yeah, sure, do that. And we don't have a biology guy. You're at 29%. We don't have a biology dude. So you can do that. Oh yes, grab those precious alloys. Do that. Science station, build an observation post and observe the humans. Then we're going to go over here and get this. We're going to go get Sao. Oh, there's a... What are you doing? You're going to go do that. When you're done, excavate that site, will you? So what are you doing? You're moving all the way over here because we think you're going to get that here in a little bit. And that certainly is an option. Okay, the Empire Capital just unlocked another one. So what I would very much like to do is this jobs based production 6, jobs based upkeep 12. Make that, please. We have mastered a new technology. Make that Corvette whole hit points. All right, robo modding and minerals from miners. This is four thousand, and that's four thousand. Getting more out of our robots might be good, but I don't think we have a lot of robots right now. So this is industry. So let's check that. We don't have an industry person, do we? Oh, we do, and he's a level five industry. Oh, but he's he's on a mi research mission. Can't remove a leader on a mi research mission. That stinks. Why not? Yes. Now he's there. He's got 40%. Very nice. Okay, let's go research mission person. Where were you? You you finished that. Mr. Voidcraft. Go over here. Do we have anybody who does archaeological stuff? We do. We have this person. Where are you? Busy commanding. Okay. Busy commanding the ISS Clark. No orders. This is the Voyager. This is the Grissom. You're the Santa Maria. Where's the Clark? It must be... Yeah, you're assisting research. Well, guess what? You're going to go over here and do that. And you are going to go assist research instead. On our research world. We're going to swap you guys. We're going to get the guy who's really good at, at doing his thing. Doing his thing. And you're just waiting. That's fine. Construction complete. Okay. Yes. Construct that. Grab that mining. Grab that research. You start the excavate site. I don't want to... Well, these guys are getting close. Nice relic world. Man. Former relic world. This ecumenopolis was once an abandoned relic world. It's a former relic world already? It can't be. There's got to be something wrong with that. View site. Planetary machinery. Hmm. We're going to dig it and then we're going to have to land on there and colonize it, I think. That'd be the proper thing to do. You guys need jobs. Okay, let's do that. Minerals. And in fact, let's just do two of those districts. Are we back to... Yeah, we're back to ice walls. Let's do this. We're going to pay for all this because we have the money for it. And we currently have that edict going. So let's get that out of there. You guys, research. 
complete. Um, no harvesting traps. Ooh, but still, the most important thing right now is just flat out research. So let's do that and let's spend the money on you as well. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're going there. And the other ones are lagging behind. There they are. Good. Maybe by the time they get here, we'll actually have this archaeology site done. Construction complete. That'd be pretty cool. That would be very cool. You are about to crank out some more alloys for us. Which would be fantastic. Let's go look at our ships. What do we have for you guys? Destroyer L-Class. Oh. Well, I don't need to hire you. Until we go back to war. So I don't need a new one on that. Flight will need to be reinforced with seven ships for I need 1600 before I can get it all back. We can for currently afford to reinforce two ships. For I love that this information is here. Okay. Love it. I need to pay attention to that more often. Okay, so over here, we expanded this. We're going to put trade on there and collect this two trade and get ourselves out of debt. So there's that. And let's put a hangar bay on it. And then nothing else that I really want to do right there. <coughs> I'd like to get a deep space black site when they pop up. Tell me about this site. Tell me about it. How are you doing? Building stuff? Good. Let's get over here and get Sao. And then we'll work our way back. We'll get these alloys here. And we'll get these minerals here. Fantastico. Construction complete. All right, you constructed that. Now, what I'd probably like to do is get this other site over here. And since there's a whole bunch of energy and minerals here, we'll grab that branch and then this. We won't worry about bide. We'll come back and grab this stuff. That's the plan. All right. Now we're cranking out 36. That helps. <clears throat> get that trade hub going. Get it going and get this trade over here from over here. Get ourselves back to to steady eddy even. We've got a long way to go before we can terraform. Technology. I like this 40% cranking up, buddy. Buddy don't have anybody for computing I'm pretty sure we don't have anybody with any kind of any sort of physics and we don't we just have a bunch of geniuses that we're gonna swap in and out trying to get the highest level geniuses in the right place you have no orders and you are a survey speed guy Okay, well, move over there because that's where you're gonna end up you guys are gonna start colonizing this planet and it's gonna be a thing of beauty colonization efforts begun yes and there they go Make it so. Make it so. All right, what happens if I reinforce fleet for 471? I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm not gonna do that because I still need alloys to grab these other spots first. And we're still a long way from war. It's 2254. Is when, okay, so the Iron Eater. Excavation has uncovered fresher samples of this bizarre membrane tissue covering the planet's spanning machinery on the relic world. Through careful analysis, our researchers have concluded this organic substance appears to be the byproduct of a viscous iron-eating bacteriophage and ferrophage. This alien virus infects a unique species of bacteria, co-opting the bacterium's biological process in order to dissolve the surface of the ferrous metal alloys. After this intense chemical disintegration, the virus then absorbs the iron atoms needed to sustain its continued replication. In a bizarre example of xenological parasitism, the ferrophage spreads further and deeper due along the old machinery, leaving a trail of biofilm comprised of dead bacteria and slough matter in its wake. So, my question is, can we make it stop doing that? <laughs> can we? I'd really like that world, and I would like more than anything to turn it into an ecumenopolis, although the problem is um, it's so close to the Marauders, we would then lose it. 
I'm a little concerned about that. Uh, this is our home world, which would make a very nice EQ Monopolis as well. And we have a planetary decision to do that. And we would need 2,000, 20,000 um, minerals to do that. Number of uncleared blockers is less than one. Oh, so I have to unclear all the blockers first? Oh, well, in that case... Since it's so... Since we have it here with the... Let's do that. Let's clear those blockers. I didn't know that, so it's a good thing I read that. Number of uncleared blockers is less than one. Owner, all must be true, has anti-gravity engineering. So I need anti-gravity engineering first before I can do that. Okay. I think in the interest of trying not to get our empire killed we've seen this before you saw that it, those of you who are a long time viewers of the show know that a long time ago i had an eq monopolis on a map that got taken by enemies and that really hurt me now i was able to come back from that and that's one of the that's one of the most fun awesome experiences in Stellaris is coming back from a ma major setback like that but for a long time that an enemy had my eq monopolis and i had a hard time building ships so I think it would be dumb to build an Ecumenopolis out here when we could just make our home world one. And this, the marauders are going to run over here and, and could potentially overrun this. So I don't like that idea at all. Um, and I think planetary shield generator will be smart ideas on these planets here to help against the marauders. Um, I've never really been much to use those. I've always felt like a good offense is better than a good defense, but in the case of the Marauders, we may not have a choice. So we may just have to... And the other thing is, if they start coming after us and we're ill-equipped to deal with them, we may just immediately surrender and become a satrapy. Uh, that way we don't lose these things. So that's another thing to keep in mind. It's another thing we got to keep our eye on. Minerals are three months away. That's nice. Physics from physics researchers... Our construction ships are doing constructing. Let's see what our policies are. You can only change your policies so much. Native enlightenment is prohibited. Native interference is active study. That's nice. Okay. So we lost this guy and he was doing a really good job. And so that's kind of a shame. Um, when the, grab a genius here. We got one leading society research and one leading... We got one commanding the Clark, so we'll switch that. And where is our the Clark ends up? Right there. So we'll hire yet another one. We got oh another archaeological speed guy. So if we take let's see. We got an archaeological speed guy, and where I'd like to have him is right here. And you have leader lifespan. So we're gonna put the archaeological speed guy on there. And switch that out. Then over here. We're going to have this dude on the Clark assisting research. Is that what you were doing? Where were you headed? Oh, no, you're doing this site here. This one, this site is a little less important than the one on the Relic World. So I'm good. Holographic cast. What is this? Where are you? And you're over here waiting. Okay. All right, so you're doing an archaeological site. Who else do I have? You're archaeological, and you have... Where are you at? You're over there. I'd like to switch you, actually, because what are you? Archaeological skill plus four. Um, I'm going to switch you with the guy on the Clark. We have mastered a new technology. The guy on the Clark, busy commanding the Clark. Yes, switch. You can have this guy. Yep, and go back to this. Excavate that site, because I want the best guy in charge of the relic world. All right, what do we have? Alloy, alloy mega forges, and cruisers. This is almost done, so give us that tech. We have mastered yep, a new see technology. that took all of two seconds. That was nice. Civilian fabricators, that's the raised up building for those. Destroyer build cost and speed since I want to make some destroyers and we're saving if alloys to do it, that would be a good plan. You're there. He's finally getting his butt over there. 
I think what we should also do then is build another ship, another space ship, another uh, shipyard right there so we can feed ships to here for the future. I don't want to do that just yet though. But that's a that's a thing we're gonna have to do because we have like this. Gun batteries, missile batteries, give them technology. Physics researchers, alright. What do we have? Chemical plants. We don't really need those yet. But it's a lot to un unlock that X ray laser, isn't it? Let's get the plasma thrower first. Without a trace, the echoes inside while excavating the ruins of Takaram over here. Anna Kingsley recently vanished without a trace. Oh no! Oh no, we need it. So now we need a scientist? Oh no, she vanished without a trace. Well, what do we have? Research speed, anomaly research speed, or anomaly research speed. No, 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 we'll grab this person. Okay, go find her. <laughs> and they have laid claim to the Habrak system right behind here. Yeah, lay claim to it, bozos. Um, and what's this? Yeah, we should upgrade both of these. This is going to be, these are going to be peak points. So I just spent a whole bunch on there upgrading those. But I think that's probably a wise move. I know the colonists are waiting. We're in the wreckage on Main Prime. We discovered an ancient cache of technology. Machine template system. Oh. Well, that's nice. It's busy over here doing all of this. Construction complete. The problem with our homeworld is, of course, then all of these all these districts go away when we turn it into an archaeology site, when we turn it into an ecumenopolis, but I still think it's probably the right decision compared to this other world. Bad things can happen with this relic complete. world over here. Very bad things, in fact. Okay, so now they want tribute. We're going to give them minerals. And like I said, they're only going to ask for those a couple of times, and then they're going to come after us. So, we're probably looking at the days of being a satrapy happening soon. Satrap. Okay, so here, yeah, since we're at zero on our consumer goods, it would probably be a good idea for you guys to build another one of those. And then build a city for some more clerk grubs, and then build that get those built because by the time they're built you're going to come close to having the people you need to curate a think tank requires this adds some research requires a curator on clay that'd be nice hmm how are you doing there buddy excavate that site let me know what the heck's going on with it Planetary machinery, bioterrorism. By piecing together a number of partially salvageable news recordings found deeper in the rotting mechanical facilities of the relic world, our archaeologists have been able to deduce that the pharophage was created on a planet by a group of rebel scientists, part of a cell that opposed the monopolistic corporation which built the planet-wide machinery, these bioterrorists evidently sought to resist the corporate's all-pervasive influence across the globe by unleashing the ferrophage. Great! So a self-inflicted wound. Mm, wonderful. Okay. I'm still not going to call... I'm, I'm not colonizing that planet until... <laughs> until we've dug that whole site out. I just don't think that's a smart idea. You're still colonizing, which is good. Do we have... Is, I don't think there's an enoch that affects colony. There isn't. There's education campaign. We should probably turn that on. Recovered cash. Genetic healthcare. Okay. We have mastered a new technology. All right, gene modification. Now let's see what we have here. Gene clinics. Let's do that just so it finishes. It's a month away. I'm not going to genetically alter ourselves just yet. I don't think it's completely necessary. We might do it. We'll see. 
it just takes up so much of this time. So if I have good research going on here, I'm not going to worry about modifying herself. Let's finish this though. Gene clinics, we get those out of the way. Food from farmers, 20%, and considering where we're at with food, I think that's probably a really smart choice, so let's do that. Main Prime, Ruined Arcolet, and these can all be raised up now for the cost of moats, and do we have moats? We have two of them, so we can raise two of these up. Construction complete. Uh, that's going to be a pretty thing because that's what we need. All right, I just wanted you to grab that. It's more important to grab this next and get all these resources. And then get this and all those mineral resources. We need the resources. Need all the alloys. Bioterrorism. Breakthrough chance. Breakthrough chance. This reflects the chance of your scientists making a breakthrough during the excavation of the current site. Every time a phase cycle ends, a dice is rolled. The results of the roll is added to the skill bonus and clues then subtracted by difficulty. Skill bonus. So our person right here has a skill bonus. Excavating. What is this? Oh, I see. These guys all have. Wow. And more claims going on. Well, you can claim it, but. And how's he doing? Their fleet power is still superior. 2252, we're about a year and a half away from the. Okay, recovered cash. That's nice. Let's see. Communication. Declare war. They can declare war in 2254. So almost a year away. we got to be even more ready than we are now. So we're upgrading that. And what happened? Scientists die. Give me another one. Oh, got that. So hold on. Okay. Don't have any current scientists going on there. Where's this one? This oh, this guy died. Oh no no no! You just don't have any orders. Why not? Oh no, it's those. Okay, so you're doing that. Why did I click on this? This guy over here lost his person. That's fine. We got somebody who's available. You're gonna be needed soon. What is? See, we only have 12 droids. It's not, I'm not sure it's worth it to robot modify those guys yet. We've got 93 of us, though. And can we take pop housing usage? We can take that off, but we can't add anything. Because we don't have the right tech for taking stuff off yet. Army Damage complete. Society Research. The one I'd like to add is Natural Engineers. Leader experience gain would be great, too. Okay, construction complete. Grab all this stuff. Mining. Yeah, we're just about ready for you. Construction complete. Okay. Construction complete. Oh, yeah, this stuff. Let's go over here. He's upgrading. He's upgrading. Hoping I can add some more ships here soon. Upgrading those sh 35 ships would be upgraded for 512. Well, how how big is it going to make our fleet? Let's let's try it. See if it gets bigger than 2.1. It should. It's just a matter of how big. How powerful. Recovered cash. Clearing the wreckage of main prime. Got some more stuff. That's good. Planetary machinery. 
Okay, following the painstaking reconstruction of the ancient electronic company records on the relic world, our archaeologists have deduced that the corporation retaliated against the bioterrorists, imposing massive economic sanctions on the regions or corporo states that the rebels originated from. Evidently, as critical power supply and food shortages began to arise, region-wide rioting among the victimized citizens and the affected corporal states erupted. Unfortunate. Keep digging breakthrough chains. Minus 30%? That's, that's bad. Here's a digging there. That's going to give us two more alloys every month. How are you guys doing? You're gonna go upgrade. Okay, what do we have here? Diminished capacity. Excavation at Bitrius 2 has revealed a number of fossils clearly related to the bale. But curiously, these specimens appear to have diminished neurological organs required for subspace phase communication. That is to say, the ability to communicate neurologically over great distances, a faculty unique to hive minds. What definitive causes may have precipitated this evolutionary swing are unknown, though it would be remiss to assume that the Grunner invasion was unrelated. Further investigation is warranted. Okay, so keep digging. Construction complete. Okay, so where was that construction complete? Good, go over here and get this. There's lots of minerals here. There's some research. We can get that archaeological dig site going. Corporo states, and then we can look at what we have here. Sell to private collectors. Yes, I would very much like to do that. This is this. I have found this to be very, very useful. It gets us a lot of money, which is really nice. Um, we can buy some of these, which is really nice. <laughs> 43 days to get that up. We're... When are they going to declare war on us again? 24... 50, 22, 54, so six months from now, because it's 04, 03. They can come at us on March 13th, March 14th, something like that. So that's, that's no good. You're no good, you're no good, you're no good. Baby, you're no good. Construction complete. Construction yeah. complete. Alright, so give me another shipyard. Give me... Okay, we don't have anything there that's worthwhile doing. Give me an anchorage. We're going to want to start doing that. Over here, give me these. These we are worth a new technology. some stuff. Um, disruption field generator shield hit points for our enemies minus 20%. We'll spend a little bit more on uh, defense as well. Give him another one, long range ones there. Fire that up. Okay, what do we have? Plasma thrower. Energy credits from jobs. Ooh, and it's cheap. Okay, and it's field manipulation. We don't have anybody for that, so we don't need to worry about that. This world, our science world says, hey, I need more peoples. It's like, hey, I got you covered. Going to build you a couple more sectors. Look at this. This is all nice. We got this all cleared. It's great. It's got some special stuff here. Dust moat, moat max moat harvesting tracks, max gas extraction loads. Complete. It's really nice. So that'd be cool. Destroyer. What do we have here? Star Fortress, which is way too expensive. We either want to get the cruiser or play steel armor. I'd probably rather have the armor. It's cheaper. It's materials or voidcraft. Who do we have here? We have a Voidcraft guy. Okay, so let's do this then. Yes, I'm going to go for technology and I'm going to grab the Voidcraft. Do that, 34%. Let's go back over here. That science ship can have this genius assisting with the research on that planet. Okay, you've done really good here. Grab the mining stuff, grab the research stuff, and you 
start Our excavating ships have been upgraded. All right, ships have been upgraded. How many, how many more? Let's do this real quick. Got nutritional plenitude. Civics slots, that can be useful. Um, fleet command limit could also be useful. Oh, hyper entertainment farms. Do that because it'll be done in a month. Let's do that. Then I want to go here. I want to go sell some more of this. Because I want to go back over here and buy some more of this. That's going to cost 15 to do that. And then I say, hey, yep, give me that 15 is exactly what it's going to fill the rest of that fleet up. So it's going to put these guys to busy building destroyers for us, which would be great. Let's see how that manages. It went from 2.1 to 2.4, so that wasn't too big. Hypo entertainment forms, that's what we said. So naval capacity bigger would be better. Pop go speedo, please. Thank you. That's the that's the thing we gotta go for. There's no question on that, is there? And we've had pretty good pop growth speed. How's this site coming? Excavation log. Clues gained. Hmm. Skill bonus five. Clues, three, breakthrough chance, 10%, difficulty, easy. And you have a maxed out scientist there who has archaeological speed plus 25. Dude, make it happen. What happened here? Governor died. Oh, no. Okay, give us a research one. Research one. Oh, there's not a research one. Slave pop resource output. Boo. We're going to take the admin bureaucracy. Then. Darn it. We'll have to keep our eye on that. I'd like to get a research one. This place is just about done. Just about have our fourth planet. Let's see. Destroyers. What are we at now? 27. Fleet power is still superior. They can declare war on us anytime. And they probably will. And what do we have here? The echoes inside the surface scans reveal the planet to be covered in desiccated flatlands. Large areas covered in fine dusty sediment. Analysis shows that the sediment traces are all that's left of extensive tracts of vegetation that must have died and died out with unnatural speed. Okay, so that's a, the dead lands. How are we doing here? You got nothing on the shipyard here. All right. That's what we like to see. New world. Colony. Give us the pop growth speed plus 20%. It's a nice world. Uh, could make it a tech world. Minerals are going to be primo as we start to build a, an ecology. Or, I mean, an ecumenopolis. But I think making this tech would probably be a good idea. So, Or splitting it even between these two things. No sector. Let's give it its own sector. Anything that helps build houses would be great. It doesn't have it. So. Hmm. Alright. I'll tell you what. i give you the food guy. Jeez. Bad choices. So. Unspent trait points. Not worried about that. Reinforced fleets. You're building a mining district. And that's fine. Because we're going to need some more of those. But you have a chance for some more research now. And the gas extraction wells. And moat harvesting traps. You can have two on this planet. That's very nice. Let's immediately build that next. How are you guys doing? You're putting a fleet together. Did we get the cruiser yet? Nope. Okay. This one. Mining drone. I think we can get rid of this. And even if we don't, that's what, that's what it should have. So that's for the mining drones. Let's go our standard Corvette. Like this. We want plasma on it. 
destroyer, point defense ones, don't care. We have mastered a new technology. Like that. Mastered a new technology. Pause. Planetary machinery. Careful examination of a number of mechanical combat drones remains revealed that a period of drone driven containment attempts followed the rioting. Interestingly enough, the corporation behind planetary machinery, or CARE as it was known, seems to have been the manufacturer of most of the drones employed. Meanwhile, the ferrophage blazed on and continuing to eat its way across CARE's planet wide machinery, seemingly impervious to any attempts the corporation made at halting its speed. So, energy credits from technicians. Alright. Improved deflectors, yes, please. Construction complete. You guys are going to need some additional jobs soon, and you're also going to need some additional housing. So I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to build this. I want, I want more. We need more. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Merging. Good. Excellent. Upgraded for 8. 42 ships will be upgraded for 80. I like that. Let's do that. Fleet power is equivalent now. So that's their fleet powers there at about 3,300. Okay. Oh, that rocks. At least we know where they're at now. Okay, what do we want to do? Adaptability has some nice things. Habitability plus 10. Monthly food output. Orbital bombardment damage reduced by 25%. All our planets gain one free building slot and resettlement cost is reduced. Domination. Capital blends provide housing. Forces reduce crime. Those things are kind of nice. We're not big enough really for that yet. Uh, discovery, though, gives us leader caps go up. Pops working research have their upkeep reduced by 20%. And down here, uh, research station output increased by 10%. I kind of like the sounds of all of that. Compared to this, even though this prosperity would probably be another one to take next that would be really good. Prosperity or discovery. Research alternatives increased by one. I like that. Let's do it gonna do that construction complete construction ship over here so grab this the marauders troublemakers you guys are working on the last thing drone malfunctions well 55 days away from telling me something. Upgrading. How far away are we on cruisers? 37 months. Our ships have been upgraded. Three years. Three years. Okay, well, geez, oh my goodness, time just escaped me. Um, let's end this here, then. <laughs> We're going to stop it right here at the year 2255. Inward Perfection, Episode 4, in the books. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thumbs up the video. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a question or comment. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Patreon, in my description below.